Hello from Eindomo. In this video, I will show you how to organize information visually to increase the efficiency of your team using Mindomo inside Microsoft Teams. Open Mindomo inside Microsoft Teams and let's create a diagram from scratch. Click on Create, then choose a mind map theme. Start by writing the main idea in the central topic, Annual Business Roadmap. Then add topics and subtopics using the shortcut tab. You can add a summary to a group of topics. For example, let's add a summary for these three topics and write important. Add more information anytime and drag and drop the topics to reorganize them. Add icons to your topics to customize and distinguish them. You can also filter topics by using icons. Another great feature when you add more topics and subtopics is that you can collapse or expand topics to adjust how much detail is shown in your diagram. Connect existing topics by adding a relationship. The connection is customizable and it has a label where you can add text. Zoom in and zoom out using the mouse wheel. Arrange topics anytime. Press Shift and select multiple topics to customize them at once. For example, turn topics into tasks. Schedule your tasks by adding a start date and an end date. Track the progress by checking the completed tasks. You will see them grouped under a checklist icon showing you the overall number of tasks. Open any task again by removing the checkmark. You can turn a mind map into an outline with one click or turn it into a Gantt chart. This view is more suitable for a complex project. You can switch it back to the mind map view anytime. Add additional resources to your diagrams. Upload documents from your computer or your favorite cloud storage service. You can also add links. Just type in the URL address and you and your team will be able to access it with one click. Besides documents and links, you can include additional information using comments and notes. For instance, in the Notes panel you can add text and customize it. You can also insert images here or add them directly to the topics, where you can add more multimedia files, such as videos, icons, audio files and more. Customize the topics by changing the style, shape, color and border. Customize the text changing the color, style, size and font. Then customize the connections by changing the layout, line types, thickness and endings. Assign tasks to yourself or other users. Set priorities using a scale from 1 to 9 and add the percentage of the completion level to keep track of your progress. In the last button of the context menu you have more tools to customize your diagram. Now that you've seen how to create a business mind map from scratch, go to the dashboard, click on create and browse the templates library. The templates are organized into use cases categories on the left side, for example, planning and organizing, business organization, project management or business analysis. Let's open a template. There is a guideline box containing information about how to fill each placeholder. You can navigate in the correct order using the arrows. Another way to use Mindomo inside Microsoft Teams is to add a Mindomo diagram as a tab in a channel. Add a new tab, select Mindomo, choose the diagram you want to add and save changes. You can add it to the diagram with your team members in real time and open a chat conversation associated with the diagram. You can also start a live meeting with your team to discuss. Another Mindomo functionality is to send diagrams directly in chat conversations with your colleagues. Click on the three dots, choose Mindomo and search through your diagrams. It allows you to share private and public diagrams to your colleagues to refer to them in your discussions and get quick access. You can open the diagram in a large canvas view where you can make changes to the diagram without leaving the context of the chat conversation. And that's how you organize information visually with Mindomo inside Microsoft Teams.